morning. Welcome to church. Hope you're having a good week and we're excited to have church with you. Let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about crabs. Have you guys ever seen a crab in real life? Uh, they've got those really big claws, they've got really hard shells, and there's hilarious videos of people getting pinched by them. <laughs> it's awesome. So crabs are known for being really tough. They're not the most dangerous creature, but they are really tough. Sometimes when a person is in a bad mood, we call them being crabby. And there's a mom down it. <gasps> and the Bible story we're talking about is about someone being crabby. Have you ever been crabby? It's like, you know, you, sometimes you could be mad at your mom or dad, you could be in a bad mood, and it can disrupt your day. It can put everybody in a bad mood. We're going to read a story today in the book of Jonah, chapters 1 and 2, about a guy who was crabby. I'm going to be reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible, but if you have a regular Bible, that works too. Just follow along as I read the story. God had a job for Jonah, but Jonah didn't want to do it. Go to Nineveh, God said, and tell your worst enemies that I love them. No, said Jonah, those are bad people doing bad things. Exactly, said God. They have run far away from me, but I can't stop loving them. I will give them a new start. I will forgive them. No, said Jonah, they don't deserve it. I'll run away, Jonah said to himself. Far away, so far away that God won't be able to find me. Then I won't have to do what God says. It's a good plan. Because as far as Jonah knew, it was a good plan. But of course, it wasn't a good plan at all. It was a silly plan. Because you can run away from God, but he will always come and find you. Jonah went ahead with his not so very good plan. One ticket to not Nineveh, please, he said, and he boarded a boat sailing in the very opposite direction of Nineveh. Well, it wasn't long before a fierce wind blew and the boat started to lurch and pitch and roll and everyone started turning green. Jonah sat bolt upright in his bed. You see, the first thing that went wrong with Jonah's not very good plan was that God sent a big storm after him. The sailors couldn't sail their ship properly. We're sinking, they screamed, and started throwing everything overboard, suitcases, food, whatever they could find. By now, Jonah knew that the storm was his fault. Throw me in instead, he shouted to the sailors, and the storm will stop. The sailors weren't sure. It's the only way you can be saved, Jonah cried. And so, one, two, three, splash. No sooner had Jonah hit the water than the waves grew calm, the wind died down, and the storm stopped. Just then, when Jonah thought it was all over, when he was sure he was going to drown, God sent a big fish to rescue him. The fish swallowed Jonah whole with one big gulp. Jonah must have thought he died. It was so dark in there like a tomb. But then he smelled the rotting food and felt the slimy seaweed and knew he wasn't dead. He was in the belly of a fish. Sitting there in the darkness for three whole days, Jonah had plenty of time to think. Pretty soon he realized his plan was, well, a very silly plan indeed. He was sorry for running away. He prayed to God from inside the great fish and asked God to forgive him. After three days, the fish spat Jonah safely out onto a sandy beach. Just then, Jonah heard someone calling his name. Go to Nineveh, God said. And this time, Jonah said yes. He went straight to Nineveh and told everyone God's wonderful message. Even though you run far from God, he can't stop loving you, Jonah told them. Run to him so he can forgive you. The people of Nineveh listened to Jonah and they started loving God. They learned to do what God said and to stop running away from him, just like Jonah. So in Jonah's story, he was crabby and he didn't want to listen to God. And after he had some time to think in the belly of a whale, he realized that God was right. So sometimes we get crabby because maybe your mom's yelling at you or your dad's yelling at you or your dog's yelling at you or your sister's yelling at you or yourself is yelling at you. And it's good to like take a deep breath and to take a step back and realize I should probably listen because people want to help you and you should be helpful to them too. So, your job for this week is to listen. Listen to your friends and listen to your family and see how you can be helpful. So when you start to feel crabby this week, take a step back, take a big deep breath, and realize all the good things that you have and how you want to help people around you too. Have a great week!